talk to you. Hey, what's up? Not much. Yeah, same here. So um, this is our first time to talk to you. So we're going to kind of get a little bit of your background to start out. So tell us a little bit about your marching history. Um, you know, did you do marching band in high school or college? Have you done DCA? Tell, tell us a little bit about how you got to uh, Mandarin's. Uh, well, my DCI um, experience is pretty limited, uh, next next to none up until this season. Uh, the only uh, real marching experience I've had thus far is uh, four years in my high school's band and uh, now three years in my uh, college band going on a fourth one next year at uh, San Jose State. Um, I fell into Mandarin's because... Uh, I mean, there, there's a lot of DCI people who um, go to San Jose State. I know a lot of people who marched uh, SCV. One of them's in blue coats this year. Uh, but three of my friends uh, ended up, four of my friends ended up marching uh, Mandarins in 16. Uh, two of them continued on into 17. And now uh, one of them I'm aging out with this year uh, on a drive to Bakersfield to pick up a broken down marching band truck. Um, I was talking to him about, uh, about drum corps, how I kind of always wanted to do it, but never was really able to do it. And then he was just like, dude, come on board. Uh, Mandarin's is going to be fun this year. And I said, you know, it's it's going to be my age out year, uh, rook out. I have a bonus year as well, you know, if there's any time to do it. Now's got to be the time, especially since um, I've been uh, moving forth into changing into the music department. Whereas uh, before, when I was working more along the lines of engineering, I couldn't afford to take a summer to do drum corps. But now that this is more or less a long uh, my line of work in the future, I definitely think that I'm going to be able to take a lot out of it. Well, excellent. That's that's really cool. So, uh, rooking out at uh, the Mandarins is going to be quite an experience. So, yeah. you know, tell me a little bit about, you know, this being your first time in drum corps, you've been through some camps. Um, share with the people watching who might not have been through a camp experience before, what were some of the things that really surprised you? Um, about the camp experience so far and what do you wish you had known going in? Um, just just how hard they work you, honestly. Um, I think <clears throat> uh, graduating from high school, going into my freshman year of college, I attended a few, uh, like a Be a Blue Devil for a Day camps. I think I attended the first uh, actual camp they had uh, for that year in uh, 2014 before uh, my parents yanked me out. And uh, I, I don't really, like... <laughs> I remember working really hard, but then when I came over to Mandarin's, it's just it's uh, all the endless box drills, the all the running. I was just man, I don't know if I signed up for this. I was just looking to myself. I think there was a point in that first time where I was just like, man, I don't you can cut me. I just want to go home right now. This <laughs> this is a lot of hard work. I I don't know if I want to do this, but then I was listening up. I think we're losing. Oh, that was oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, uh, that was definitely something that um, I guess kind of caught me off guard. But, um, you know, if you haven't done drum corps going into a, a camp at, a, at any core at any level, honestly, it's it's on the outside looking in, you know, they work hard. Um, but when you're on the inside and you realize like how much hard work it actually is, it can catch you off guard. But it, it shouldn't be a reason to uh, be scared of it i guess it's it really started becoming more of a motivation for me to uh, get better in that awesome so when you think about kind of uh looking forward and going out on tour uh what do you feel like you're really gonna miss about not being on tour um one thing honestly is probably gonna be friends and family i definitely know lately that i've kind of been taking that for um for granted i know I'm going to have like new friends, new family over with Mandarin's over tour, but just not being able to speak, you know, to, to my mom, dad, that much brother, sister, all the people that I know here at San Jose, um, it's, it's going to take some time to adjust to, uh, not having all the, uh, wonderful amenities I have at home, you know, warm shower, 24 seven, uh, comfortable bed, uh, all that sort of stuff. I've, I've heard stories about what to expect on some parts of tour and I'm, uh, I'm prepared for that, but it's it's going to be kind of different having to let go of what I already have. Yeah, for sure. So from what I can tell, Mandarins have le released the show title, but they haven't released their full repertoire. Is that right? No. Uh, yeah, that's correct. All right. Well, so I don't want to. I don't want you to get in trouble. I'm not going to put you on the spot to like. I don't want you to leak anything. But as yeah. you think about the show music that you've played so far and that you, uh, I'm sure you have completely memorized because that's where you're supposed to be. 
Um, oh yeah, of course. Uh, when you think about it from the part of the show, uh, you know, opener, ballad, closer, middle, however you want to describe it, as vaguely as you need to. But like, what's a part that really makes you go, "Oh yeah, I can't wait to put that on the field." And that part, you know, I'll do one more rep of that all day long. Yeah, um, for me, it's definitely like the last quarter of the show the the, the closer um i i can't really say too much all i know is it's it's for me at least it's it's really dope i mean um having been a dci fan um since i found out about the activities since uh since my freshman year of high school there have always been shows where you know i'm listening to it and then there's this one part of the show i'm just rewinding over yeah. and over and over and i'm like oh that sounded really good that sounded really good for me that's that thing uh when i when i first heard the recording of that section i was just kind of like sitting down on the ground thinking this is the dci moment that like i i wanted to do this is the moment where you know if this is on a video this is the part that freshman year of high school me would be playing over and over again that's what's got me hyped right now because now I get to like be in the video of something that I really like. So that's part I'm really super hyped for right now. That's, that's great. I'm looking forward to seeing that. So yeah. w what was that show for you that uh, you said your freshman year of high school, like who, who's that, what's that hook moment? You know, everybody's got that for DCI. What, what's your kind of hook moment on DCI? <clears throat> I have uh, two. Um, the first one was um, our band director. He introduced us to a uh, drum corps um, by showing us uh, Phantom 2008 um spartacus and yep. naive me was like oh man which high school band is that they <laughs> look really nice and then I, <laughs> I found out that that's, that's not it at all uh but um uh the first thing that really kind of stuck out for me was just throughout the entire show just like how they nailed general technique uh, with regards to just uh marching style how you know confidently they looked uh stepping on the field let's forget about music for a sec they looked fantastic um, the part that freshman year me liked a lot was when one drum major went and stabbed the other one because I was like, oh, my God, people can actually do that in a show. That's great. Um, that's GE. Yeah, that was that was real fun. But uh, the, the part that really honestly got me into thinking that I have to one day do drum corps was not actually a show, but um, a tuning sequence, uh, namely uh, from Crown 2012's uh, finals lot. Um, um, tuning arc their warm-up um, I, I remember that you know they're just going up the scale tuning each section and it everything sounded really nice and then they they dropped the hammer right there and i had my headphones on i was leaning back in my chair thinking i did i don't know how like brass instruments are supposed to make noises like that this is fantastic beautiful and i'm not exaggerating i know a lot of people will like use the word literally <laughs> incorrectly every year then i i know i've literally watched that video I've seen 50 of those just in the past you know three months hyping myself up because um hearing, uh, hearing that section of that warm-up sequence and i know it was in their show but it was watching the video in the warm-up lot that really sort of made me this this is something i have to do this this is fantastic this sounds stupendous i, I need Excellent. That's a, that's a great story. And I think everybody's got one kind of like that, but it's, it's always fun to hear what it is for people because it's always different for everybody. And, uh, you know, I think for a lot of people, my age, it was seeing it on PBS live and stuff like that. I mean, for me, it was 92 Crossman. They played the drum solo yeah. and man, those guys were just like, I was like, holy, and they had drums kind of like ours in my high school. And like, I, I didn't know those things were possible. But yeah, and, and having lot videos like like you can see today is just unbelievable. So that's great. Um, so Mehdi, we've got uh, your Instagram up there that we're sharing with everybody. You're at WizNuzzle, WizNuzzle at yep. uh, on Instagram for folks that are going to go out and follow you, which everyone should go follow. Uh, what should they expect to see this summer? Um, well, thus far, not much. I don't use Instagram that much, but uh, I definitely know I'm going to be getting into the swing of things. It's it's. Uh, what I plan on doing, honestly, is kind of turning um, my Instagram more or less into like a, a photo journal. I definitely know I've had a lot of um, band trips before where um, I don't take any pictures of anything. I don't keep a journal. And I regret it when I come back because then there are all these like little small details that I end up forgetting. And for my only DCI year, I definitely plan on, you know, taking uh, photos at least, you know, once every two days, uh, either doing something with my section, with the core on the bus, general, you know, drum corps shenanigans, what have you. Um, 
adding a lot of stuff to uh, the story. It, it's more or less if you want to live um, Mandarin's 2018 vicariously through one of the Contra players, that's where my Instagram comes in because um, I'm definitely going to be amping up the uploads once uh, we move in in almost a week, which is slightly terrifying, but I'm ready for it. Well, that's awesome. Well, um, I know I'm going to go follow because that sounds like a, a, a great thing to watch. I know that uh, we just talked to Alec out at Carolina Crown, uh, bass drummer. He's moved in. Their horns move in Saturday, so it sounds like you guys are moving in soon. Uh, th thanks for spending some time with us tonight, and we'll check in with you again here in a couple weeks. And uh, hopefully by then, we can actually talk about the pieces of music you're playing. Absolutely, hopefully. All right, thanks, man. Take it easy. You too. All right, night. Nice.